Hello everybody, Stuart from Super Machine here. Today I'm excited to share with you some of the image to image workflows we've created with Flux. We've created a normal sort of workflow where you input a prompt and get an output. And we've also injected a bunch more different AI models in. So that's all done automatically for you. So without further ado, let's get into it. So first things first, we need to log into our Super Machine account. From here, we can select tools in the top right and you'll see we have this flux image to image. Here, you will be able to upload any image or select any image that you've already generated within Super Machine to be used as the reference. You can then toggle the auto prompt on or off, and you can also toggle the denoise settings. We'll be going over all of this a little bit later, but first of all, I've got this awesome image of two cherries on a blue background, and I'm just going to use the auto prompt and do a selection of different denoises to see what happens. So I'm going to do 0.8. I'm going to do a 0.85. And I'm going to do a 0.9. And a 1. And the final one that I'm going to do is just take this down to 0.5. So all of these have got different denoise levels on them. And you'll notice that the higher the denoise, the more random the image. Whereas 0.8 gives you something quite true and quite relevant to the initial image. Whereas the higher you crank the denoise, the more random the output is going to get. The more it's going to say, okay, this was our initial image. We are just going to take aspects of that and create something completely random. But if we then take the denoise down to say 0.5, we get something which is even more sort of indistinguishable from the initial image, which is this one here. So this is just a simple way of if you wanted to create images which are very similar, use a lower denoise, usually 0.5 to 0.8. 0.8 is when you start to see changes and then upping it by 0.05 each time. So 0.85, 0.9, 0.95 to 1, you'll see some really crazy changes. Now, Second to this, you'll notice that we had the auto prompt on all of this time. So you might be wondering, what is the auto prompt? To understand the auto prompt, you've got to think of it like whatever we are feeding into Super Machine as our input image, in this case, two cherries on a blue background. We are then taking that, we are running it through some pretty awesome AI models to understand what is in that image and then we are automatically creating the prompt for the image generation. So if you are looking to create something fairly similar to the input image, you may want to keep the auto prompt on. Whereas if you are wanting to create something completely different or have more control, then you might want to toggle the auto prompt off. So let's have a look at doing that now. So if I'm going to take the auto prompt off now, and I'm going to say a bunch of bananas on a cream background, then hopefully we're going to get an image of a bunch of bananas on a cream background. Now remember, we do need to make sure that the denoise is high enough so that it can do this. So because we are wanting something completely different, I'd go for 0.9, let's go for 0.9, let's go for a 0.95, and let's go for a one, just to show you the differences of what it can produce. So the first one is gonna be the 0.95, the second one is going to be the 0.95, sorry, the first one 0.9, second one 0.95, and the third one is going to be the one. And 0.9 looks pretty good. So let's see how the more random, the higher denoise outputs look also. So we've got more of a cream background on this one. Although the bananas in the center don't look as appealing as they do in this one. So I actually quite like the 0.9 output better than the others. So 0.9 is a good number to go for. Just to show you that, 
that's an awesome it's a bunch of bananas on a nice background if you have a website where you're needing a stock photo for anything like this if you find something which is kind of what you want but different then you can do something like this so we've got a bunch of bananas on a cream background and let's just show it one more time let's go for a 0.9 just to see if that is the magic number for this type of uh, output and we can say a bunch of grapes I need to put an S on that on a purple background and we'll just generate a few of these just to see what happens and we've got our free output so the first one probably could be improved if I was to say red grapes I didn't specify red grapes so I won't blame the AI too much for that but look at the second and third one look at that image that's awesome so we've got grapes like this if I just take the uh, select all tool out so we can make it bigger look at this image look at it it's great it's awesome so this could be something that you use on a website or any design that you need and it's 100% AI generated just by using a picture of a different bit of fruit and you've got something truly awesome like that and then this as well the composition with the leaf and the purple background I really like that that's a great output so these could be used as you need to when you need a stock image instead of going to a stock image site find something which is kind of relevant but kind of different and just sort of adapt it to your needs by putting it through this super machine and the image to image available within super machine so the second thing that i want to show now is going to be using a photo of a human and seeing how we can adapt that also so let's get into that in a second okay so what i've done is i've gone to unsplash.com i've gone for headshot photos and i found this one of this male here now i've got the auto prompt on and the denoise set to 0.8 so we're just going to do the same test that we did for the fruit but using a photo of a person so 0.8 and we will do a 0.85 we'll do 0.9 and we'll do a 0.95 also just to show you how this changes the output and this is kind of why i always start on 0.8 because i think if you go lower than 0.8 you're get to getting something which is too similar to the original whereas if you go higher you're going to get something which is uh better and different from the original so you can see we have the original here guy very smiley and he's looking at the camera and then we've got our 0.8 which is okay although ai's done that thing where it has a little bit of text which we don't really like so not a fan of that photo to be honest whereas our second one which is a 0.85 looks pretty good as our human headshot the uh 0.9 also looks good and the 0.95 also looks good now what if we wanted to do the prompt in our own way so we're not using the ai to create one we're going to create something completely from scratch so these are the ones which have been created using the auto prompt but then if i was to type in uh, sharp professional photo of a caucasian female with long ginger hair and green eyes and we will do a 0.8 and 0.85 and a 0.9 just to see the differences so using this method it can be really powerful if for say example you want a headshot photo you found an image that you really like but you want to adapt it to your needs and your probably find and look at that with the outputs 0.8 wasn't enough to change it we've got the same sort of guy in the photo despite us saying female we have the same guy this was because the denoise was not high enough whereas the 0.85 has given us this image of a female which looks really awesome really cool the ginger hair is not quite as ginger as i was hoping but it does a good job and then we have this one which is a 0.9 where you're seeing more of the green eyes and again the ginger hair is not quite as i would like so perhaps if we were to put the 
denoise up even further. So let's do a 0 0.95 and let's do a couple of ones just to see what happens. Okay, super awesome. So we've got our 0 0.95, which is this image in the middle here, which is super awesome. Looks like something crazy is going on in those eyes. They're very mesmerizing. And we've got the ginger hair and the headshot type photo. So that's super fun. And then our ones are more random again. You see that we have got more of a random uh, sort of layout and the design but we've got the same sort of character across the images. So this is a way that we've gone from this initial headshot photo into something completely random by just playing with the prompt and playing with the denoise settings. Now, if I was to change this even further, so we could say Caucasian male with long, um, with a Mohican, and spiky jewelry. Now, I'm not sure if this is gonna to be too much for it to know, but let's just finish it off by having a bit of fun and seeing if we can make like a, a punk rocker type guy and seeing how these are gonna come out. Okay, awesome. We've got our four outputs for our punk rocker type guy. This guy looks fun. And then we've got the three down here. This guy is missing a shirt. He's got some interesting dress wear. The guy on the right has got glasses. Remember, denoise is one, makes it a little bit more random on the output. So anything could really happen. And then we've got our final guy. Also looks pretty awesome. Nice face, nice hair, nice sort of jewelry. Uh, it's exactly what we asked for. So just to sort of recap everything in this video, you can take any image and you can transform it as much as you want to keep it very similar to the original or make something completely new from it. Whether that be a different character, a different piece of fruit, a different sort of stock image from an original, it's that simple. I hope you found this video useful. This is the Flux Image to Image where you can use your own prompt or use our own auto prompt to create new images with artificial intelligence. If you found this video helpful, feel free to leave a like or subscribe to the channel where we provide more insights and more videos going over the best way to create images with AI. If you fancy using Supermachine for yourself, you can sign up today at supermachine.art. We'd love to have you on board and help you create awesome images with the power of AI. Thank you.